Afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a one-box random number block break of the old 2016 Panini Immaculate Football. Uh, random number block break four. Big thanks to these folks for getting to the action. Thank you. There are the numbers right there. And let's randomize each list. Two and a five, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, we've got Rich down to Gabe. Two and a five, seven times for the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, we've got number four down to eight. All right, so Rich, you have four. Sean with seven. Philip with zero. Jeremy with six. Regimel with nine. Jeremy with two. Rob, uh, Last Bob Mojo, five. Bulldog Fan with three. Jeremy with one. And Gabe with eight. Let's order these numerically. Any trades? I'll give it a few moments. Um, we have box two, three, and four left. So let's roll the die. Uh, for the top box, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's three. One, two, three, four for box number three. And we'll save those two for next time. Apparently, Kyle Loletta arrested for something to do with a traffic violation. <laughs> David's like, yeah, sell your Kyle Loletta cards. Not, hashtag not good for the hobby. Okay, no one's trading, so not even a whisper of a trade. Let's close up the trade window. Trade window closed. TWC. Let's print. Let's rip. Good luck, everybody. Oh, the track violation was that he almost ran over a cop? Yeah, I need more details here, folks. That that traffic violation suddenly has become, <laughs> become fill, filled with drama. In what, what context did he almost run over a cop? Was he escaping the long arm of the law or... Did he, did he have an outstanding warrant or something like that? What was happening? What led him to the position where he could r almost run over a cop? 49 out of 99, Jeremy Macklin. That goes to the number 9. So that's for Regimel. We've got a couple Dolphins. Right Ooh, wow, look at that. Uh, we've got Leonti Carew and Kenyon Drake, 84 out of 99. That goes to number four, Rich, with the number four. I feel like these aren't the correct top loaders here. Hang on a second. All right, sorry about that. So, okay, now we're getting some more information from Devin, Rich, and Joe P. So Kyle Loletta didn't want to pull over, wasn't listening, almost hit other cars as well as a cop. Oh, the cop was directing traffic and went the way that was closed off. So did he, did he actually elude the police, Joe P is saying? All right, so that goes to number four. That'll be for Rich. And this big logos right here is Rob Gronkowski logos. Wow. That's the Patriots logo right there. 
That is nice. And that is one out of five. That goes to Jeremy with number one. I don't know where my bell is. Oh, the bell's over there. All aboard the Big Hit Express, Jeremy. Woo woo! Very nice. One out of five. We've got a redemption, so that's automatically for Philip. William Jackson the third. I'm definitely not prepared for this break. Our first break of the day. My first break of my week, so it happens. Not every break is an, is an Emmy Award winner, <laughs> production-wise. All right, there's that. We've got Triple Relic and Autograph, 24 out of 50, Nelson Aglor. Number four, that goes to Rich. Oh, yeah, let's check if that was game used or not. Stephen K thinks he noticed game used there. Wow, nice. Game used material. That's pretty cool. That's a great logo right there. And last but not least, old Connor Cook. What's Connor Cook doing now? 35 out of 49. Two-color patch and autograph. And that is for the number five, Robert Beachy, last spot mojo. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was a quick one box, random number block break of the old 2016 Immaculate Football. We've got two more, so check it out on jazbeescasebreaks.com, and we will see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.